It was cold this morning. Temperatures down into the 30s across much of the Susquehanna Valley, but we've rebounded nicely. Taking a live look right now over Lebanon, you can see some clouds starting to bubble up across the region. We're at 57 degrees. Dew points are holding in the upper 20s, so that air is relatively dry. And winds are out of the west right now at 14 miles per hour. Since the air is dry, temperatures will continue to rise fairly quickly as we head through the afternoon. Here's where we started this morning. Dropped all the way to 35 this morning in Lancaster. It was 33 in Lebanon. We had some reports of some patchy frost close to Sealands Grove. It fell to 32 degrees. Harrisburg, one of the warmer spots. It's because the wind stayed up overnight, and we also had some patchy cloud cover. But we will see temperatures area wide rebound nicely into the mid 60s. Here's where we are right now at the lunch hour. It's 58 currently in Harrisburg, 59 if you're watching us in Carlisle, and 55 at this hour in Lewistown. So for today, mostly sunny skies, breezy and milder. Temperatures will rise to the mid 60s for our highs today. Overnight tonight, the clouds really start to thicken back up. It won't be quite as cold thanks to a breeze out of the southwest and that added cloud cover. Lows tonight will be a good 8 to 10 degrees warmer than early this morning. But then the clouds stick around all day tomorrow and we'll have some chances for some scattered showers throughout much of the day. Tomorrow does not look like it's going to be a washout, but certainly some periods of some on and off rainfall. But there may also be some breaks in the clouds, allowing the sunshine to peak out at times. So the rain chances are relatively low, but possible throughout much of the day. Highest rain chances tomorrow will be around lunchtime and then overnight heading into early Wednesday morning. It's all quiet right now, though, on Super Doppler 8 Live Radar. There you can see the clouds starting to bubble up across the eastern half of the Susquehanna Valley. This will continue as we head through the day today, but I do expect more sunshine and clouds across much of the region. Winds across the Commonwealth anywhere from 15 in some spots in excess of 20 miles per hour. This will continue through the day as well. Clouds should start to thicken up as you can see as we pan out here on Super Doppler 8. The clouds really starting to thicken back up across the mid Ohio River Valley. The ridge of high pressure that's making it oh so nice today starts to scoot off. Sure, that's going to allow the winds to continue to change direction, come back up out of the south as we head through tomorrow. And watch what happens here on the predictor. So there goes the ridge of high pressure. We keep the skies mostly clear through the evening hours, but overnight tonight the clouds will thicken up. Then it's we're sandwiched between two storm systems as we head through tomorrow. We got a cold front off to our north and the storm system moving across the middle Ohio Valley to our south. Rain chances will go up as we head through the day tomorrow, but notice on the predictor it remains relatively light and spotty in action. Storm Center will get a little closer to us late Tuesday night into Wednesday, so our rain chances will go up. Looks like a wet commute Wednesday morning, but then as the storm system starts to pull away on Wednesday afternoon, rain chances will start to drop off. High pressure building back across the Great Lakes region will start to move eastward as we head into Thursday. So it's going to be breezy and mild today. Temperatures in the mid 60s. We drop back down to highs only near 60 degrees with some scattered showers tomorrow. It'll be a little warmer on Wednesday with the chances for some lingering showers, at least for the first half of the day. If you're looking for that spring like weather that's been missing for quite some time, <laughs> that gets back here on Thursday into Friday. All right, missing in action. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we've been looking for it. All right. Thank you, Ethan.